Let's talk small diaphragm condensers, guys. More specifically, let's talk about the brand new Serrano 84. This is Carlos Serrano's take on the classic Neumann KM84, and I'm truly honored to be the first person to get to introduce this microphone to you. So thank you guys to everyone that has subscribed and helped the channel grow. It's put me in a position like this to have manufacturers trust me to help debut their products. So thank you so much, Carlos. It truly is an honor, and I'm so proud that you're making these right here in North Carolina. So the first thing I wanna show you is that it comes with this nice wooden case. And I chose to get a pair because if you've ever used a great small diaphragm condenser, you find out quickly you're probably gonna to want to use them in pairs quite a bit for things like drum overheads, stereo miking of acoustic guitars, and really any kind of instrument. In this example today, I'm gonna to use them as a stereo pair on drum overheads as well as on both speakers in my two by 12 divided by 13 cabinet on the electric guitar tracks. Now, when you first open the case, you're gonna notice you have two sets of extra capsules. And on the capsule that comes on the mic, as well as the first one in the case, you're gonna notice they both have the cardioid symbol. And what it is, is your second pair of cardioid caps are tuned a little bit darker. And I found some uses where I prefer that, so it's great that you have that built into the set here. Now, the other additional capsule is going to give you the Omni pickup pattern, which is awesome if you want to get a little bit more of your room incorporated into the sound, or if you want to close mic something and not have to deal with much proximity effect. And in the example today, you're gonna to hear the Omni capsule when I mic up the electric guitar cap. Other accessories included are a couple of mic clamps as well as the foam windscreens. And when you decide you do want to use that darker capsule, just look on the back side and you're going to see a red dot there and that will help you keep track of which are the darker capsules and which are the standard capsules. Now keep in mind, a great KM84, and it's the same thing with the Serrano 84, this is not a overly bright mic. A lot of modern small diaphragm condensers are bright, which is honestly why I've gone away from using them very much over the last several years is because for all of the detail that you gain with having that smaller diaphragm that sounds great on like a finger pick guitar or something like that, it tends to quickly get uh, overly bright and sort of plastic sounding with a lot of the usual suspects that are making small diaphragm condensers. I haven't found that to be the case at all with the Serranos, even with the standard capsules. I just want to say that so that you don't get the impression that these are the bright capsules and these are the dark ones. They're all very mellow in that nice vintage classic sounding way. So no matter which capsule you choose to use, once you get your Serrano 84s, you're not going to have anything that's overly bright. So I thought it would be fun to take the John Mayer song back to you off of his album Room for Squares. I I've always loved this song. And to be honest, when I pick songs for these examples, there's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to it. It's just something that came up on my phone or I heard on the radio. I'm going to do my best John Mayer impression. Thankfully, it's not one that he goes too crazy on guitar on. So once I decided to do this song, the first thing I did was I wanted to hear it on acoustic. So I just grabbed the standard stock cardioid capsule and started tracking acoustic, and it sounded like this. Now, once I had that initial acoustic track down, I thought, well, why don't I double track it, but this time use the darker tuned cardioid cap, and that track sounded like this. So after that, I wanted to make sure that I had something that had some picking to it so we could hear what small diaphragm condensers are really good at, and that's detail and transient response. So I went back to the standard cardioid capsule and recorded a picking part that sounded like this.
Next up, I thought, well, I've got this stereo pair. I have two speakers in my divided by 13, two by 12 open back cab. One is a blue Alnico, one is a Celestian Greenback. And what's great having those two sounds is by miking both, you can sort of blend the two, sort of like an EQ, you know, depending on which speaker you're leaning more heavily on. So for this, I wanted to get a little bit of my guitar tracking room involved. So I used the Omni capsules and it sounded like this. So after the electric tracks were done, I went to bass. I've got a little Ampeg combo amp here that sounds great for recording. So with the guitar tracks and the bass, I wanted to get into figuring out because the Serrano 84s don't have a pad like the KM84 does, am I gonna push these too far? Is that gonna be a problem in real world use? I switched back to the dark cardioid capsule and bass and it sounded like this. So, so far so good. My divided by 13 has no master volume. So even at cleaner settings like this example, it's loud. So the fact that the Serrano 84 is holding up well, I'm not getting any breakup in the mic to where it can't handle it. So I think any concerns that anyone may have about the Serrano's not having the pad, I think you can put that aside because just using the mic preamp pad on the divided by 13 quad gamma behind me there, that was plenty of pad for getting a good level going into the converter. But as far as needing a pad on the mic itself, I just haven't found that to be the case. So now that we've got all of those basic tracks done, I hopped over to drums to see if I could even remember how to play a, a decent beat here. And I used a pair of the Serrano 84s, went back to the standard cardioid capsule and mic the overheads in an XY pattern. And that sounded like this. So now that you've gotten a taste of how these tracks sounded, just raw, no processing at all, how it sounded as I tracked them, I'm gonna put everything together here and I want you to hear how it all blends together. Just a tiny little bit of EQ and some reverb and, and delay. Basically what I would do when I'm tracking to get a little vibe for the band or for myself as we're tracking. So nothing major going on here. But one thing to note is I used the UAD 1073 plugin on the bass to see how much low end was there. Because naturally with a small diaphragm condenser, you're not gonna have as big of a low end as you would with the dynamic or a large diaphragm condenser, some of the other favorites for bass amp. But as long as it captured the information there and I could bring it out in the mix, I knew I would be in good shape. So I'm happy to pass on that I had no problem boosting a healthy amount of 30 hertz and then I tried it 60 hertz. And there was plenty of information there captured by the Serrano 84 to bring up whatever low end that you would feel is appropriate for your mix. So anyway, let's check it out here. Serrano 84, back to you, John Mayer cover. Here we go. All right, guys, again, 
such an honor to introduce this microphone to you. Once I checked out the Serrano 87, I knew we had another special ear, another special talent in the microphone industry. And I, like I've said before, I'm so proud that he's just like 45 minutes away from me here in North Carolina. So Carlos, congrats, my friend. You have made an amazing set of microphones that I think are going to be very, very useful for studio owners. And I hope this demo has demonstrated for everyone that you could take this pair and record pretty much a whole song. I'd like to take the Serrano 87 and the Bees Knees BU67 and the Stam SA47 and cut the vocal for this song on the next video because those three mics have stood out to me as my favorite affordable vocal mics. So look for a follow-up video. I'm gonna take those three and just show you how they sound on the same song. Now, the intro pricing on these is $450 for a single and $829 for a pair. So if you do like what you hear, it would be in your best interest to go ahead and order a pair now to take advantage of that intro pricing. So closing thoughts, if you are in the market for a pair of small diaphragm condensers, I think this is a fantastic choice. It's hard to imagine anything being more versatile, especially with the three different capsules that come standard with it. But I hope you enjoy this. Before you go, if you'll like the video, subscribe, ring the bell. That way you will know when the next video comes out. And if you got value out of this, if this is helpful for you in your studio journey, click the heart that says thanks below the video and send a little something to help the channel grow. All right, guys, I appreciate your time and I'll see you again soon. Take care.